Imagine you've bought a car for traveling. It has an integrated phone, GPS, and a high-quality camera to record videos for Instagram. Later, you left this wonderful and capable car and buy a new one just you are out of fuel. This method, which sounds utterly absurd and idiotic, is actually a standard practice in today's satellite systems. Despite the main systems are operational, hundreds of millions of dollar worth satellites are often discarded and replaced with new ones, simply because they ran out of fuel, or their batteries weren't adequately charged. To prevent valuable satellites from being wasted due to fuel depletion, or decreased power supply, numerous companies are working on satellite servicing solutions. Welcome to the Spaceship Earth. In this video, we'll discuss emerging satellite services, in-orbit refueling, and orbital satellite repairs in the evolving space economy. Satellites and spacecrafts are expensive. Because they need to be work in a harsh environment, they must withstand significant G-forces, extreme temperature changes, and high level of radiation. Another reason of their high price tag is, these systems are often used only one time. Satellites operating in low, or geostationary orbits can become non-functional, due to depleted maneuver thruster fuels or failed moment gyroscope. In such cases, whole satellite is shut down, and with significant amounts of money, companies build a new one to replace it. You don't need to be genius to realize that, this cost-intensive approach is unsustainable. During Apollo era, NASA plans fuel depots in Earth, and lunar orbits for more efficient, and economical operations between Earth and the Moon. These facilities would allow spacecrafts, rockets, and satellites to refuel. That capability enables longer missions. Additionally, orbital shipyards designed for maintenance, and repairs of spacecrafts and satellites. To achieve this goal, space shuttles were designed for economical, frequent trips to and from space. However, the additional tasks added onto the shuttles, led to a significant changes from their original design. Essentially this eliminated the airliner-style flying shuttle concept. Consequently, the need for planned fuel depots, shipyards, or satellite servicing stations diminished. As a form of satellite servicing, only a few operations were conducted, such as bringing a couple of satellites back to Earth for repairs with Space Shuttle, and repair of the Hubble Space Telescope. These limited operations were quite expensive due to the high launch costs of the shuttles, making them costlier than originally planned. Consequently, these efforts largely remained as PR exercises and were not pursued further. In the ensuing years, no notable progress in this field was achieved. However, since the 2010s, after the rise of commercial space companies, satellite servicing efforts restarted by both institutions and private companies. The primary target for companies has been satellites that operates in geostationary orbit. These satellites, operated 36,000 kilometers from Earth, are typically complex and expensive systems. Communication satellites require continuous adjustment of their positions to ensure uninterrupted service, which demands substantial amounts of fuel. Satellites that operate flawlessly but run out of fuel to adjust their positions are moved to a graveyard orbit, and shut down. This is where satellite service companies position correction, or refueling services come into play. Now satellite operators have two choices in case of a fuel depletion situation. They can send their perfectly functional satellite to the graveyard orbit, and order a new satellite with a half billion dollar price tag. Or, they can take a relatively cheap service to keep their satellites running smoothly. Currently, Northrop Grumman provides active satellite services using a system called, Mission Extension Vehicle, MEV. MEV-1 vehicle is servicing an Intelsat communication satellite, performing maneuvers to maintain the satellite's orbit for an annual fee of $16 million. Upon contract completion, MEV-1 will be redirected to service another satellite. Northrop Grumman is also working on a system called Mission Extension Pod, MEP, to service satellites in geostationary orbit. In this project, Small maneuvering vehicles will attach to a carrier satellite called the mother ship, which will then connect to the target satellite. After attachment, the mother ship will move away from the region to continue servicing other customer satellites, while the maneuvering vehicle will remain attached to the target satellite to perform necessary maneuvers. Providing towing services to satellites may seem like a good start to ensure the functionality of satellites, but in reality, it is not a highly efficient system. This is because the tractor satellite spends more fuel than necessary to maneuver. Fuel is one of the most valuable resources in space, and therefore, it needs to be used carefully. To save fuel, it is much more logical and efficient to refuel the depleted tanks rather than towing the satellites. One company working in this field is OrbitFab. The company focuses on providing fuel services to next-generation satellites. 
by pre-installed docking module for fuel replenishment systems to the satellite before launched, the company enables easy refueling when the satellite runs out of fuel in orbit. Starting from 2025, Orbit Fab offers to provide 100 kilograms of hydrazine fuel to satellites with the refueling module for $25 million. In the future, they also plan to offer services for xenon and krypton gases, used in electric propulsion systems. While Orbit Fab service extends the operational lifespan of satellites, and reduces long-term operation costs, it cannot be applied to older satellite models. This is because, in older satellites, the fuel lines are sealed and capped with blind plugs and sturdy metal wires after filling the fuel tanks. While this method is logical when refueling is not planned, it complicates matters significantly when servicing the same satellite. Although satellites with sealed fuel tanks require more complex servicing, the solution involves specialized robotic satellites. Institutions like NASA, DARPA, and European Space Agency, along with private companies, are working on robotic satellites that can service to older, unserviceable satellites. These servicing satellites will firstly dock with the customer satellite, then open the sealed and capped fuel lines using carried tools. Subsequently, a new valve allowing refueling will be added, and the satellite will be refueled as needed. Several prototypes in this project have been tested at the International Space Station. Currently, efforts are underway to develop a system that will service an actual satellite in the near future. If the design proves successful, the capability to service all operational satellites in orbit will be achieved. These servicing satellites are also planned to perform repairs, modifications, or decommissioning of satellites in orbit. For instance, the robotic arms on the servicing vehicle could repair malfunctioned solar panels, replace faulty main components, or install thrusters to end-of-life satellites to facilitate atmospheric re-entry. Ongoing projects primarily focus on satellites in low Earth orbit and geostationary orbit. In addition, there are larger projects targeting the region between Earth and the Moon. One of these projects is a fuel station designed by the space transportation company United Launch Alliance. This proposed station, primarily fueled by hydrogen and oxygen, could support lunar activities, offering refueling capabilities for large human spacecrafts or interplanetary missions. These depots, located at the L1 and L2 Lagrange points, would use insulation systems similar to the sunshield on the James Webb Space Telescope, to store and transfer hydrogen and oxygen in super-cold liquid form. From the day launch of the first satellite, to the present day, spacecrafts and satellites could only travel and perform tasks based on their fuel capacity that they can carry. This was similar to traveling with only a tank of gas. This limits your reachable destinations. However, with spacecrafts, satellites capable of in-orbit refueling and servicing, will enable us to reach far beyond our current capabilities. Thank you for watching Spaceship Earth. If you found our video helpful, please like and share. Subscribe to our channel to not miss out our videos about space and space technologies.